you know, tens of thousands of banks in the world. I would say top 200, 250 sort of control majority of the market share. And, you know, I've, I've spent my entire life building B2B SaaS software. And one of the things that I found in the uh, banking industry is, is if you talk to any sort of um, any of the IT folks, InfoSec folks, technology folks in the banking space uh, within a bank, nobody loves their software. Nobody's like, oh, wow, I'm using this amazing platform that's enabling me to do, create these beautiful digital experiences and enabling me to be agile and flexible. Almost everybody universally actually hates their existing technology stack. And, uh, and that really represents an opportunity in any landscape, right? We find a large enough industry where the existing incumbent providers legacy providers that nobody likes, that nobody really finds modern, that nobody really loves using, that really represents, you know, a tremendous opportunity. I mean, how many spaces, banking is probably one of the last few industries, you know, that still uses software that was written before I was born. More than 50% of um, banking stacks today still run on mainframes and COBOL. In some, some countries, some places, it's even 70 to 80% or more. Platforms were built before I was, I mean, even in our personal lives today, how many of us use, I don't know, phones or cars or any piece of technology that was built, you know, several decades ago. The entire industry has gone through so many paradigm shifts. You know, we've uh, gone into kind of cloud native computing. Uh, smartphones came up in the last, you know, decade and a half. Um, none of these paradigms have been leveraged by existing legacy platforms. So we felt when we started in 2015 that this is a, a large space. This is, it packs, you know, audiences, individuals, and, and companies across the globe, um, where the existing incumbents are dinosaurs. They haven't actually replaced their technology stack or leveraged modern software paradigms. And, uh, and there's clearly an opportunity to provide something, uh, a modern next-gen processing platform uh, to financial institutions to be able to make them more agile, nimble, enable them to provide better experience to their consumers, improve their OPEX, and so on and so forth. That's what excites us about the space and opportunity.